Right, so I got asked yesterday in the gym, um, what is the best training split um, for a particular person? Now, I get asked this quite a lot, so I thought I'd do a video just to explain um, my thoughts behind sort of the best training splits um, for particular people. Um, and really, um, the answer that I have to always give is that it does depend. Um, this is an answer no one wants to hear, but unfortunately, it really does depend on you, um, you as an individual. So your training split is gonna be massively influenced by your goals, that's the number one thing. Your own personal goals, what it is you're training to achieve, what it is you aspire to be. So that is gonna be the number one factor. Um, also, it's gonna be dramatically influenced by your experience in the gym, also by your family, your social commitments, your work commitments, if you enjoy the gym or not, because that's gonna make a massive difference. Um, also, if you train with a partner in the gym or if you train on your own and on any weaknesses you've got. So if you want to bring up particular areas, then that's going to influence your training split as well. There's a lot of things that are going to affect how you're going to train in the gym and what days you're going to train. Now, let me just put a little bit of substance to it. So at the moment, I've probably just confused matters even more by just saying it depends and there is no right way to do it. So you're probably thinking, well, if there's no right way, it doesn't really matter what I do in the gym. Well, although there's not going to be a right way for one person, there's not going to be a magic split, there is going to be a better way for you to split your workouts um, that's going to get you to your goal more efficiently um, than, say, someone else or to get you to another goal. Um, so my recommendations are going to be to accept that there is not a magic split. If there was, everyone would be doing the same program and there wouldn't be thousands upon thousands of programs out there. So, have a little sit down and think what your goals are. What is it you're training for? People always say, oh, I just wanna lose a little bit of weight. Oh, I wanna look good on the beach. But usually there's another goal in the back of their mind. Um, there's another emotion attached to something um, that they don't want to say out loud. So really important to get that goal, however stupid it may sound, however personal it is, um, get that written down, um, get that somewhere that you know exactly what it is, you know, make it a smart goal, make it specific to you, make it measurable, um, make it achievable so that you're not setting yourself a stupid target, um, you know, but also so it's challenging as well. Um, with that, then you've got yourself the goal that you want to get to, you've given yourself a little bit of a challenge, but you're not making it impossible so you know that you can achieve it. Um, so it has to be attainable and you need a time on it. You know, you can't just say I'm going to lose a stone. We, we need a time so that you're, you know, you're staying on track, you're staying motivated and you're going to keep to this split. So that's the first thing. Once you know your goal, then have a look at your days. You know, there's seven days in a week. Have a look at your social life, your work life, you know, your partner's commitments, your commitments, if you've got kids, dogs, and see where you can fit your training, what times a day are best for you. Get them in your diary. Um, you're only going to need... I'm gonna recommend between three and five days of training. Again, this completely depends on you as a person and your goals. Um, but for me personally, I'm trying to put some size on, so five days is perfect for me. I need those two rest days. I'd encourage everyone to get one or two rest days at least in their training um, split. So sit down and put the times of the day that you can train. I work late shifts um, or later shifts, so I normally work at one o'clock start in the afternoon. So often I will train around 10, 11 a.m. So I'll get that in my diary. I know what I'm training and at what time. Um, once you've done this, you can then look at your split, look at your body, look at the areas you want to bring up. So for me personally, I want to bring up my legs and my shoulders. So I will look to train. I was training my shoulders twice a week um, just to bring up those weak areas. So I will look at my week and put two sessions in to focus on those areas. And then other areas that I'm strong on, maybe my chest or my back at the moment, I'll just back off them a little bit. So I'll only maybe hit them once every week in one session, so I might put chest and back together. Um, and then giving all that recovery time um, towards my shoulders so they can grow. Um, also have a think about if you're gonna train with someone. If you're training on your own, great, be selfish. Um, train what you want when you want but if you're going to train with a mate or a partner you need to sit down with them and I actually did this with my training partner the other day we sat down and we discussed what areas we wanted to bring up and also how we could um, split our week um, so we then both agreed on what we were going to do 
and then obviously stick to it. And you're going to make changes here and there, you know, if you've got other commitments, but hopefully you can sort of stick to that, that plan and, and keep it going. Um, once you've got your split, once you've decided what you're going to train, and I would recommend that, you know, you don't go for putting a lot of focus on the smaller muscle groups. You're not doing arms like three times a week or calves three times a week, unless you're really wanting to bring them up. Um, but I would say, you know, stick to the bigger muscle groups if you're going to train them multiple times. And, you know, once you've got that split, get some advice. Um, once you've got the advice um, from an exercise professional, you know, there's plenty of um, guys out there drop me a message. Um, we can have a look and see, you know, is this going to work best for your situation? Because um, what you're doing might work for someone else, but might not work best for you. Um, so that's pretty much it, really. You'll have your split, you'll have your goal. You know, get a second opinion um, as to whether you think it's going to get you to where you want to be and sort of stick to it. That's the main thing. Be consistent. That's my best bit of advice is stay consistent with what you've just agreed. Um, after six to eight weeks, you're probably going to want to change um, that split or the exercises you're doing in that split. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, variety. So I will mix up my split every six weeks, eight weeks. Um, stop me from getting bored because I do get quite bored when I'm training um, but also to shock the body you know to, to change my focus so I might work on one body part focus on that for eight weeks then I might change my focus so next um, eight weeks it might be you know bring up my legs um, and that's the same if you're not training like me to basically do um, you know a physique or a bodybuilding sport you might be looking at increasing your power um, one month you might look at speed or endurance another um, or your mobility another month um, so I would just say, you know, just change the focus every split um, and that will stop you getting bored. I'm also a big fan of just changing the workouts as well. So although I might be doing legs in a session, I will still be, you know, giving some variety um, to my legs so that I'm not just doing the same sessions over and over again, just stagnating and plateauing. Because at the end of the day, it's all about progression and it's all about getting to your goal. So hopefully that's helped a little bit with you sort of deciding your next training split and answered that question of what is the best split um, because really there isn't a best split there's just going to be a split that works better for you than someone else based on all those factors we've just discussed cheers guys if you like the video obviously share it um, hopefully i'll do a few more so send some questions in and apologies for any sort of crying in the background um it is my it is my dog he just uh can't stand not having the attention so take care and uh, achieve those goals.